The lymphatic system consists of a fluid called lymph vessels called lymphatic vessels and a number of structures and organs containing lymphoid tissues and red bone marrow where stem cells develop into blood cells including lymphocytes. Lymphoid tissue contain large number of lymphocytes including T cells, B cells, and phagocytic cells that participate in immune responses. Now first talk about lymphatic vessels. They start as a microscopic lymphatic capillaries which are located in spaces between the cells. These lymphatic capillaries allow interstitial fluid that is derived from blood plasma to flow into them. But they do not allow them to flow out. When this fluid is present inside lymphatic capillaries, it is called lymph. These small lymphatic capillaries then convert and they form a large lymphatic vessel. These large lymphatic vessels are just like veins, I mean blood veins. They have only one way valve. That one way valve keeps the lymph flowing in one direction only. These lymph also flow through a bean shaped structure which are called lymph nodes. So what are lymph nodes? Lymph nodes are the sites where T cells and B cells are activated and also it destroy the microbe by immune response. Within lymph nodes there are reticulate fibers, macrophages and dendritic cells which trap microbes and destroy them by a process called phagocytosis. All lymph at the end passes into thoracic duct that is present in left side and right lymphatic duct and then into their respective subclavian vein. In subclavian vein, this fluid is now called blood plasma. Now this blood plasma moves through cardiovascular system and ultimately become interstitial fluid between tissues, cells and other cycles begin. Now let's see where these lymphatic tissues and organs are located. Lymphoid tissues and organs are scattered all around the mucous membrane that line gastrointestinal, respiratory, urinary, and reproductive tract. They protect against microbes that are ingested or inhaled. Many large aggregate of lymphoid tissues are located on specific sites of body which include tonsils in the throat or pyres patch in the small intestine. And also, the spleen contains lymphocytes and macrophages that monitor the blood for microbes and secrete products such as toxins, much like lymph nodes that monitor lymph. The thymus serves as a site for T-cell maturation. It also contains dendritic cells and macrophages. So here we have seen that how lymphatic system help to remove microbes through the process of phagocytosis. So in the next lesson we will see that how phagocytosis works. So stay tuned.